name is Debbie and today we're going to talk about the glycemic index and I'm not just going to talk about what the definition is it's a buzzword that has been around for a while now I'm going to show you a little experiment with some white highly processed bread and some whole grain hearty whole wheat bread and how these two actually affect your blood sugar and when you eat them what happens in your body. So let's start with the white bread. I just have a container here of a little bit of water and I'm just going to put the white bread in on one side and then I'm going to flip it over and then I'm just going to try and pick it up and what happens is it's just totally falling apart and it just becomes almost gluish and this is what happens in your stomach. When you eat highly processed foods, they become mush like this and they get into your bloodstream very quickly. So that means that white bread has a very high glycemic index because it gets into the bloodstream very quickly. So now I'm just going to dump that out, put a little bit more water in for the next piece. And we're going to do the same thing with that. So here's our piece of whole grain, whole wheat bread. Same thing, I'm just going to set it in there. And I'll even leave it in there a little bit longer. Turn it over. And you can actually lift up this whole piece of bread by itself. It's still intact. You can even kind of wring it out like that and it's still intact. So this is why when you're eating something low glycemic, it stays in your body longer, it takes longer to process, so it doesn't spike your blood sugar as quick as the high glycemic white bread. So after watching this video, I hope you understand a little bit more how different types of foods affects our bodies, and if you would like more, free wellness tips and free recipes, you can go to my website and my blog at www.debbiestevenson.com. See you there. Thanks so much.